We are in a very nice part of Myrtle Beach at a golf course. And there's supposed to be a really nice estate sale back in here. Estate sales in expensive uh, neighborhoods are always scary because you just, you just don't know the prices. But we're gonna go in there and see what we can find, flip online for a profit. Definitely a lot of cars here. The estate sale and this house is crazy looking. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We got a guy with a thing on, so this could be interesting. A guy with a little fanny pack. Oh, that guy's already buying stuff. I mean, this is somebody else's right now, but oh, I'm just gonna move. No, 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 you're fine. I'm gonna move it right over here. Okay. Slim battery nickel. There's some, there's some radio jack stuff in there. Oh, yeah. These are some of the boxes I see. Oh, okay. Old radio shack stuff, yeah. Okay. That's empty. How's it doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Plug and power remote, mini remote control. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Pretty good. That thing's pretty neat. It's a cream model. What is that? Supreme Cream Audio Oscillator. I don't know what this thing is, but it's cool looking. Yeah, we're gonna end up like buying a whole bunch, so we'll work on a deal. We're gonna start making a big pile, is that good? And then we'll make a deal later. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that that'd be good. Like I said, Instead of individually if pricing no stuff. Price, yeah, if I don't have time to put a price on it, we'll, we'll you, figure out a price. What is all this stuff? Dude, he must have owned like a... Must have done like a lot of electricity thing. This is way out of my wheelhouse when it comes to tools, just because I don't know it. Um, it's like conduits for ele electrical work. I think he did like he's electric. Light bulb, so light up right. Yeah, he's got a lot of like electrical stuff. Yeah. Stuff that I know zero about. That's one thing I have. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Oh, you live in the timer switch. Back here, got some old crafting commercial router. That's a router. It's a big old. Adam, that's a telephone. I know. That's three hundred. I got thirteen of them. Thirteen of them. As you can tell, this estate sale is insane. Most of everything is out in the garage. There's not a whole bunch on the inside. Kayla's actually in there and uh, she does buy some stuff in there, but there is just so much in this garage that it's kind of hard to actually like think about what you're trying to buy. So because it's all spread out, there is no rhyme or reason to where things are. So I'm trying to get my bearings, like walking around, figuring out if I see something quick because there is a lot of people in there. 
then I'll go ahead and put it in my pile. But uh, we pick up some really interesting stuff here. Is it an old vault? Yeah, 18 grease gun. stuff in here. I just bought a couple of those. Pipe threader. This yeah, I mean it does work. It was that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Skill cordless. How would you make it work? I don't know about that. It's neat though. There's another one with a die in it, which is nice. Some hydraulic things up there. Man, like this, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. I just saw some of that right there. What is it? Cords must go pretty bad on it. This thing is heavy. Signal generator. I know nothing about this stuff. So in this box, I actually learned something, but I learned it a little bit too late. They uh, gauges, the gauges I said had water in them. They're actually fluid filled gauges, and they were 5,000 psi gauges. Probably worth about five dollars a piece, maybe. There's a whole bunch of them in there, and uh, I actually leave all of this stuff behind. There's another picker behind me that goes through this box, ends up buying all that stuff. I was trying to look it up, I could not find anything on eBay that was even remotely close to the stuff in that box. So I do leave it all behind and just keep moving on to see what else I can find. This, oh, which is nuts and bolts. <clears throat> Huge power converters. Jeez Louise. That's a monster power converter. What you got? Look at that. Oh, nice. It's sealed. Yeah, that's cool. And the Grinch. And the Grinch. Very cool. And then I got some Star Trek guys, yeah. That's cool. Oh, leg lamp. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's really neat. Is that the leg lamp? Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I see that thing now. <laughs> that's cool. What is this thing? Wall. Isn't that neat? Is it? Is this a cruiser chassis parts? Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Piston. It's from Dana, which is nice. Gotta take a picture of this thing. Who knows how much this thing's worth? They're new. New OES. Perfect circle pistons. That didn't really help out. I actually still can't find these ex same exact piston heads uh, on the internet. I have no idea. It looks like some of them that are similar have gone for $50 a piece, and I do have eight of those. I'm going to do more research on these. I wonder how much he wants for them. I work. 
These are um, piston heads. Uh, piston heads. Oh, okay. It's got the rings in it, like. It's like rebuilding an engine. <laughs> I got no idea what engine goes to, but there's so much stuff in there. That's nice. Look at this. That's nice. We just learned about that the other night. Yeah. Last What's inside? Anything good? Like um, um, clothes? Those are just upright, I think. Oh. Those might be, those are the, the, the housings. Those are the blue housings and those oh. are the forms. Gotcha. I'm sorry, yeah, I was. Okay. I... There's so much stuff that's so cheap. That's stuff that you just don't ever see. Like this horn. What a pretty neat. This joystick, battle gear, what is this? There's a box over here. Are these old halogen lights? They like just. Yes. There was one box over here that was pretty neat. See ya. We'll see ya. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. These staples, heavy duty wire staples. Yeah, these things are old. These are like. Crown logo. There's a staple gun right there. Yep. There's a battery organizer. They advertise that on TV. This thing is nice. I'm gonna have to scan this bad boy. 150. Yeah. So he did have some of this stuff priced uh, pretty high like eBay prices like that mask right there is a pretty good mask for welding he had it priced at 100 and it was very non-negotiable about that one thing and it goes for about 150 on eBay free shipping so it's really worth about 120 bucks but this right here I actually passed up on it the first time and this uh, is one of the bigger finds of the day it is a vintage craftsman hand grinder like a larger hand grinder and a lot of them go between uh, 50 to 100 dollars but most of them are actually listed for 150 to 175. yeah we'll take that That's Five, five, five. One hundred and twenty-three dollars. Is that so one hundred and twenty? I'm gonna go shopping some more real quick. That's pretty cheap. I, I feel pretty happy with that price. All right, at that last yard sale, there was just so much there. 
like crazy amount of stuff there. I was there with a couple other pickers and we were actually kind of sharing some stuff. They were handing me stuff. I was handing them stuff. If I didn't know about something and they knew about something, we were actually just, you know, really working well with one another. And um, at the very end, which was, I don't think on camera, I bought these two boxes. And what he was doing was he was basically $5 or $10 a box that he put out everything had to go in that entire house so i bought these i have not gone through them they're more of like a mystery box type of deal i rifled through them a little bit just to make sure it was worth it but i didn't actually go through it but uh this stuff i don't know if kaylee actually got on video this is a i don't know if it's actually murano but if you look at it uh it google lens it it actually comes up murano and i don't know how to tell the difference if it is murano or not it, it is polished up here but not polished on the very base right here and then this right here actually this hallmark leg lamp it's like 20 bucks 24 bucks so that's pretty good there and then the onyx plate is wild looking Caleb picked this up for eight dollars thing is he made a big deal on everything it was like 135 dollars for everything that we bought and check that onyx plate out we've sold some onyx uh it was some lamps before and we sold them for like three four hundred dollars so this plate right here some of them are listed as high as like a hundred and ten dollars uh we don't really know how much it'll go for maybe 50 maybe 60 but that right there is cool and actually came with this usually we don't buy decorative plates uh but this one right here i think is pretty special look at that look at that okay so i just think it's really neat so these boxes are super heavy these have most like uh lights in them or something like that this is a uh drill bit sharpener by black and decker that's pretty neat i've actually never even seen one of those before and then just so much stuff was in there i'm talking like major amounts i kind of got the uh the information it was that it was an older gentleman that lived there he has moved to another location and need to downsize and he used to work for i think it was a telephone company and you could tell because and then he did a lot of work and he saved probably everything from this telephone company and a lot of this stuff was like brand spanking new that was in there i'm telling you right it was just it was just really neat there's a webcam that has been in there for like six thousand years probably not a good one because it's actually like falling apart so that's not good thing but some of these probably can still go for probably 10 or 20 bucks it all depends on what the headlight is and what it's go for or what it goes to here's another one right there spider free of charge here's another one right here so that's pretty good and they're glass which is nice because they're not plastic yeah i think it's the same thing as that so they must have ordered uh webcams back in the day because there's another webcam it looks like it's the same same thing as that other webcam and it's been in the maybe that's not a webcam what yeah it is there that is interesting so that's not good because it's like super super sticky um this right here is a whole bunch of these gauges brand new gauges 100 psi probably not worth a whole bunch but probably worth a little bit maybe two three dollars a gauge mini controller what we got in here um and there was there were so many controllers and i mean the amount of stuff that was there was insane i have no idea what that is don't know i'll look it up i mean a lot of this stuff again will have to be researched got some plates here oh, a whole bunch of these plates rca i don't know how many rca jacks are being used nowadays probably not that many so that's probably a waste, but you never know. I'll definitely look it up. It's amazing what is still being used. Digital timer comes off automatically. And this box was five bucks for all this. Uh, K2 tape splicer. Check that thing out. Splices something together. Pretty neat. This is to a uh, a safety a safety harness. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna pause it. That's what that is. I don't really like selling safety harnesses because of the uh, liability in it. If something goes wrong with them, I just I just don't like it. So I usually don't sell them. Some pump switch. That's probably actually like 10 to 20 bucks. Some sort of little uh, thermometer is definitely broken. Got an old cell phone here. Definitely not in good condition. And then some Christmas lights and something that looks like a whole bunch of batteries. So not a whole bunch in that one. We probably got more than $5 out of it. But I'll be definitely looking up these uh, these lights. I think they're made. Let's say proudly made in the U.S. of A. 
so that ain't too bad. All right, the next box is right here. Tons of stuff in here. Throw a controller right off the rip. Um, I'm not good with controllers. It definitely goes to an older computer because it has this and that. I don't know if any controller uses that nowadays for a PC. And then we'll take a look at this guy. It's an old controller right here. That's neat. That's pretty nice. It's from Comp USA, but made in China. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this right here is pretty cool. There's a big horn in here. It's pretty neat looking. There was another huge horn, like, there that uh, one of the other pickers got, which was pretty cool. And I ended up getting this small little horn. It's got the name on the back of it, so we'll look that up. And these right here are just staples. And check this bad boy out. Right, huh? whole bunch of staples plus the staple gun and this is an old staple gun it's got the crown logo on it i would say this is probably from like the i don't know 60s maybe 70s something like that probably that is a really just a work ah oh, man shoot staples like nobody's business so that is good and then we have all the staples that go with it probably worth 10 to 20 bucks i would think maybe a little bit more they this is like super heavy duty stuff i mean uh, people still like that and still buy that stuff um not so much there cassette tapes it was just like i said these were just grab bags of stuff universal heavy duty volt ignition coil it was a dollar at one point interesting all right, got a Stanley cordless uh, battery charger. It's hard to sell those. Sometimes the battery chargers don't work. Uh, it's good to have a battery to put in it because sometimes it just doesn't work. But a lot of times I'll just plug it in. If the, if the light comes on, I usually just go ahead and sell it. Fuel line hose clamp, all right. What is this thing? Like some sort of pump maybe? I don't know. It's very light. It's way lighter than you would imagine that to be. Uh, Little Rooster Products holster, pretty nice. There's another one of those guys right there. Pressure activated switch model. I mean, how would you know if it worked? How do you even test stuff like that? Nobody knows at all. Little plug-in charger. We like to get those chargers because if you buy a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't have chargers, then you can, uh, you know, you got more at the in the house. Little switch doodad thing. Something switches can be worth at least a couple bucks. I mean, look inside this thing. It is just full of interesting little things to go through. I mean, most of it's probably not that good. To be honest, most of it will end up... Braff Siphon Mixer. With backflow preventatives. What are you mixing with your thing? Freezer refrigerator th thermometer. That's pretty neat looking. 12 switch rotary. I don't know what that is, but it's brand spanking new. And there was a lot of stuff that was new there, like new in box, and it was just old stuff. And just, it was neat. It was a neat yard sale, neat estate sale. No idea what that is. Who knows? I don't know how you test stuff like that. There's gotta be a reason why it's in the box. Probably doesn't work. This is a better gauge right here. US gauge, pretty cool. So not too terrible, I'm gonna go ahead and go through it and if I find anything else, I'll go ahead and uh, show you. So what a crazy yard sale there. Uh, it was actually an estate sale, it was ran by an estate company, I'm pretty sure. And it was just insane, the amount of stuff. It's almost overwhelming. That was, I think, their second day or first day, I forget. But prices were really, really good. Kayla picked up a whole bunch of stuff on the inside that uh, it was kind of hard to film in there because it was close quarters. They moved everything downstairs, I think. But uh, she, look. Star Trek, we got the whole Star Trek thing. That one's actually new, but we got those, which I think go for like $20 a piece or 60 bucks there. She got some other DVDs and we also got, um, we got the Shining VHS, brand spanking new, never open. Check that out, goes for like 30 bucks. And then I did pick up a Datsun Nissan uh, little Chilton book here so that's pretty good that's another 20 bucks we just picked up so much stuff this also though i think i picked that up in the um in the video when i was going through the box i looked this up i cannot find anything that looks remotely close to this but it is made in 1950 and it's a boeing part so it's an airplane part from the military that's all i got at this point who knows what this little switch thing does but uh one similar i think so little line not similar to like that but from that company from boeing from the same year went for like 40 bucks 
but I don't even know what it is. Like how, that's one of those things that there's nothing on the internet that even looks remotely close to that. I have no idea if you know what that is, tell me down below. Also, we are very close to 100,000 subscribers. So give me a subscribe if you're not subscribed, just boop, hit that little button. You also get notifications when I drop new videos. Give me a comment down below and like the video. I do appreciate it. And you know, I will always get you on the next one.